Blux is a new AI model developed by Black Forest Labs, the same team of people who brought us stable diffusion, only this time the results are more comparable to mid-journey. And this model is capable of generating accurate text and hands which stable diffusion struggle with. This also applies for architectural designs, delivering overall quality and realism. But what sets Flux apart is that you can render text and brands from your prompts without producing made-up letters, so you can create your buildings and shopfronts with legible names. Its latest release is Flux 1.1 Pro, with ultra-high definition, and it is only available through their API. However, there are four versions of the model, and the other two are Flux Dev and Schnell version, which can be run locally and still have very high quality output. I'll be going through the Schnell version as it can create these photorealistic imagery with just four steps. You can click on the GitHub repository to get more details in the README. To get this running, it is fully compatible with automatic 11.11 interface and the Comp UI interface, which I'll be using. I've added a link below to a previous video on how to use Comp UI and to do quick installs using the Pinocchio app. Then we need all the models. These can be downloaded from Black Forest Labs' Hugging Face page, which I'll provide links below. We'll be using the Flux from Chanel model, so we don't need any of the dev versions. First, we need to download the main Safe Tensors model and paste this in the Comp UI, directly under Models and under Unit. Next, we need the matching VAE model, which we pasted under Models and then VAE. And finally, these three encoders will also need to be downloaded and pasted into the models folder and in the clip folder. And with these three folders filled up, we can now get ComfyUI running. So let's make sure to update everything from the ComfyUI manager, and you may have to restart once. The basic workflow is quite straightforward, so I'll guide you through the main nodes needed. Hit the clear button, and search for load diffusion model and you will clip loader. Load the flux model in the diffusion model. I only have one, so it loads automatically, but make sure you put it in the correct folder here. And for the encoder, select clip one encoder in the first slot, and I'll use the FP16 model for high precision in the other slot, but you could try the other one as well and the type will be flux. Add the clip encoder, so we can add the main prompt, and we might as well add one straight away. So it will be first person perspective in a modern green public square, surrounded by brick residential buildings in London. We then need a basic guider to connect all these. So drag in from model to model, clip to clip, aim conditioning to conditioning. We can add four imported nodes used for typical diffusion models. So first is the empty latent image to set out the size, random noise, which is used for the diffusion generation, and the case sampler select, and the scheduler. I'll just line these up. If you want to learn more about how these work in details, you can check out a previous video I made in the link below. So first, set the image size to what you like, the max being 1024 by 1024, and then you just need to upscale afterwards. Keep the random noise to randomize. And for the sampler, you can feel free to experiment with the different options. I would set Zula for now. And then it's the same with the scheduler. I'll just use Keras, but you can try out the others. And importantly, set the steps to four, since we are using the Schnell version of Flux. These are all then connected to the Sampler Custom Advanced node. So you just have to go through and match the names to the appropriate points like so. Luckily, in the latest update of ConfUI, the nodes are all color-coded, so they're easy to connect together and stop you from plugging in the wrong ends. Finally, we need a load VAE, decode VAE, and with this goes a save image node. Set the VAE to the one we just downloaded, and connect them like so. 
then we are done. I sped that up as you can see, but reality that took me under one minute on a 12 gigabyte GPU. And using the Flux dev version takes much longer. Let's zoom into our creation. And in terms of realism, the grass, trees and red brick look all pretty good. The perspective is exaggerated, but I put that in the prompt and it still looks like a clean photo. Let's try to push it with some more. This time let's see how it handles specific text. I will add luxury clothes shop with modern facade in an airport mall with the word sale written in the window. And now run that. But at least the lettering is perfect and style to fit with the shop front. Since I didn't specify anything for the main signage, it looks like it just repeated it, but the quality of the letters are there, especially when compared to Steel Diffusion. Let's rerun that to see if it was just a fluke. This time the cell is in a window, and it just made up a name for the signage. So this is where we can be more specific in the prompt. Let's try a famous brand and see how it handles it. With Prada on the shop signage. Now this is interesting, as both the text is correct, and it has correctly used the Prada logo, and it's black branding. Since it is a famous brand, it is presumable that many images with Prada branding were used when training the Plux, and so it can recognize it. Let's now try with an exterior view. An aerial view of modern four-story concrete house in Tokyo with a courtyard. The concrete is looking very worn, but other than that, the context and the house itself looks realistic enough. I'll try one more with an interior lobby scene and try to specify some text with a specific positioning. So an interior view of a luxury double height lobby in Bangkok with the sign welcome written above the reception. And the results are quite consistent with a modern luxurious feel and the text is also coming in well at the position I asked for. The favorite imagery and text quality is definitely a step up from the original stable diffusion, and this is only the Plux 1 model, so there are definitely more great things to come from Black Forest Labs. Of course, you can still use control nets and edit to see what and upscaling. Aside from this, don't forget that the usual control nets, slowers, and other common nodes can be used with Flux customize your results even further. I'll be going over these in the next video, so I'll see you there.